probably read a fair number of stories and seen any number of pictures relating to South Dakota. But one South Dakota poet has now put together an anthology of poems about the Rushmore State. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sarah McDonald introduces you to the state poet laureate and explains how this idea came about. When you think of South Dakota, there are probably a number of things that come to mind. Mount Rushmore, agriculture, and much more. To help capture some of those stories and experiences, South Dakota Poet Laureate Christine Stewart Nunez put out a call for poems about all things South Dakota. People who had who had been living in South Dakota for at least five years or had some sort of uh, affiliation with South Dakota. They grew, grew up here and maybe moved away or they had lived here for a while, but they had some sort of connection to South Dakota to write about the landscapes, the people, the cultures, the languages, histories. It could be anything that they felt that reflected you know, South Dakota and what it's like to, to live here and be here. It was all part of her idea for an anthology called South Dakota in Poems. When the call went out that <laughs> that I might not get enough poems for the anthology, you know, you just have no idea what happens when you do a big project like this. She ended up getting hundreds of submissions and narrowed it down to about 100 poems from about 90 poets. There are a few poets who got two poems in the book um, because I, I, there are so many I could have kept. It was really, really hard. and. And basically, I, I had some sort of craft standard that I wanted them to have good imagery and some good sound or, or other sorts of poetry craft. Um, they had to be to speak to South Dakota in some way. And you'll find poems on just about everything. Microbes, atoms, energy. There are some poems about history, personal histories and cultural histories. There are poems about farms and prairies and mountains. There are poems about snow. There's lots of poems about interstate travel. <laughs> there are poems about contemporary life, what it's like to live and love here. It's just, there's a variety of, of themes. Erica Saunders is the membership chair of the South Dakota Poetry Society Board. She also contributed a poem to the anthology called Hit or Miss Yields. When the rains came in windows and wells and grain bins, septics clogged all along I-29. The spring of 2019 when we had so much water, um, I think a lot of people remember that, you know, the nine inches here in Brookings in one evening. And I took a trip down to visit some family um, down further south and was just kind of astounded by all the water everywhere. So that was my, my beginning. And then I went and just, uh, I take a lot of walks. That's a lot of my inspiration is just, I, I like to think about our natural environment and then I relate it somehow back to the people or back to my own personal thoughts and, and feelings. Saunders encourages others to take the time to read the book. It speaks to our everyday existence here as South Dakotans. When That's one of the things that's always attracted me to poetry anyways. It's these little snapshots. You know, it's the writing equivalent of, of photographs. And we get, but it's a little bit better than that because it tells us, uh, you know, the insights into the individuals and what they were thinking and feeling and experiencing it in that moment in time. And maybe even give a try at poetry themselves. I also hope that people will be inspired to write some more poems, um, not just read, but write poems because it's a really great way to be reflective and creative. A book that can help shed more light on poetry. No matter who you are, you could pick up this book and find a poem that reminds you of yourself or your family or where you're from or somebody you know here in our state that you can see uh, you, traces of your own experiences in the book. There's sinewy muscles exposed to the world. With Eye on Killaland, I'm Sarah McDonald. If you'd like to get your own copy of the book, just head to the South Dakota State Poetry Society website, which we provide a link to under this story on Kelloland.com.